Hey guys, Matt Guzman here, back with another video, and today's going to be my unboxing of the limited edition Adventure Collection. So this has a series of figures that are supposed to be similar to Legos, and I like it because it has a variety of different minifigures that I can use in other stop motions for like, because usually when I do a stop motion it's either Star Wars or Minecraft. But now with this Adventure Collection I could do other things. So. This is good because it gives me a wide variety of minifigures to, to use in, in stop motions and stuff for future videos. So I'm not just doing the same stop motions over and over like I used to on my channel. Okay, so here are the minifigures. Let me get the first guy out. So here's what this guy looks like. Uh, um, let me check about the arms. Okay, so the arms move up and down like a normal minifigure. And the hands can turn around as well. So that's the first one. I'm guessing this is like a, like a. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's an adventurer. This guy looks like someone you'd see from a Revolutionary War, or like a war of some kind. But he has a mustache. Oh, the torso moves as well. So doesn't have any printing on the back, just the front. And the hats are movable on this one. All right, the second Revolutionary War figure. He has no printing on the back either, just like the first guy, and no printing on the legs as well. But let's see, the hat is removable as well. So the heads can come off, they're just stiff because they're new. But pant legs, movable arms, and printing on the front, and printing on its hat. This guy, I'm going to say, is like a prospector, or I don't know what this guy looks familiar from. Uh, this one has printing on the legs. So the front has printing. And, uh, hat's removable. Oh, apparently not. Apparently the hat's not removable, but the head is. So, hat's not removable, but head's removable. And no printing on the back. Alright, now we're going on to the first pirate. So, he has printing on his shirt. And printing on his hat, there's the Jolly Roger, which signifies the pirate. And there's printing on the peg leg, there's just two black lines right there. I guess it's supposed to look like wood. There's no printing on the back, so there's only printing on the front. So that's what the pirate guy looks like. Here's the Indiana Jonesy guy. He has a fedora like any. Oh, that's not really a fedora, is it? He has a hat like Indiana Jones. He has printing on the front two legs, I think that's supposed to be like his belt, and then he has the, the jacket with the white shirt underneath, uh, there's no printing on the back either, so that's the Indiana Jones guy I guess, I'm gonna call this guy Swashbuckle because Pirate's Swashbuckle, he looks like one of those people you'd see below deck or like off to the side in a movie, uh, let's see, he's bald, he has no hair or head, I meant <laughs> hair or hat, so, it looks like the heads actually come off on all of them, it's just, some of them it's harder to get off of. It has the same hat as the first minifigure. They have the same hat. Uh, I'm guessing the first one's gonna be a pirate as well. Uh, this one looks like a pirate, just cause he has like an anchor there. Maybe it's, maybe it's like a little piratey. He has all green legs, with no printing on them, he only has printing on the front. He has like a, like a like a brown jacket kind of thing. Yeah, those are the eight minifigures. Alright, so here are the minifigures. We got the first pirate. I'm guessing it's a pirate. We got the two Revolutionary War guys. Uh, I don't know what this is. I can't put my finger on it. We got the pirate captain, the two other pirates, and we have the Indiana Jones looking kind of guy. So, I'm gonna try to see if I can make a stop motion of this soon. Separate stop motions for the different themes. So like, I'll have one for about, for the Revolutionary War. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna use this guy for. I'll have a pirate themed one, and then I'll have like an Indiana Jones kind of one. And but in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that they're similar to Legos, so now it's a test to see if they actually will fit on a Lego brick. Oh look at that, they fit perfectly. <coughs> they fit perfectly. Yeah, so it looks like they fit pretty well. I wonder if they can sit. They, the backs did sit. Okay. So these guys sit as well. That's good. So, 
The only thing bad about it is that, like I said before, the torso can move. That'd probably get kind of annoying when trying to make a stop motion. But it'd make easier for, like, movements if they're, like, looking off to the side. I'm guessing since that person can put on the st can be placed on the studs, all of them can be placed on the- Yeah, all of them can be placed on the stud. So that was my unboxing of the Adventure Collection, uh, limited edition, and it comes with the four minifigures that are similar to Legos, because it can be placed on Lego studs. But, seeing that I might start stop motion again, I want to have an announcement on what ty types of stop motions I can do. So, obviously I, I had- I had the plans for these eight, but in my other videos, I've had stop motions on Lego Minecraft and Lego Star Wars, but it's been a long time since I've done something like that. So right now, I'm gonna show what I have in uh, like Star Wars wise. So I'll show the sets that I have with that. Okay, so this is my full collection of my Lego Clone Wars, and I said Clone Wars specifically because I actually have more, but they're stored in my storage area. But, and there's, there's a lot, so, I'm just gonna show my clones for now, or the Clone Wars era. So, this is a collection of all of the B1 battle droids that I have. These are all my B1 battle droids. These are the more advanced droids, so, so those are the more advanced droids, and I got two Droidicas, two Super Battle Droids, two Geonosian Droids, and one Bounty Hunter. Alright, so here's my clones and Jedis. So, these two came in, came with this set, and if, I made an unboxing of this set because this is one of the ones I got for Christmas, so please check that out. This set also came with these two clones, and I finally have a collection of Jedis. Before, the only Jedi I have was this one, and I made these two myself. This one just looks kind of cool. This one it has a hood and a Jawa costume, but yeah. These two came with this set. This is Barris Offy, and that's her Padawan. And then that leaves us with the clones themselves. These are the newer versions of the clones. These are more newer versions as well. There's another newer version. Uh, these two are the older versions. Then I have these two over here. This is a custom one that I made for my brother. He's called Commander Tree. Uh, we were supposed to make a stop motion together, but it never happened. And this is Gree. He's one of the clones that, that's featured in the in the movies and in the Clone Wars. And then, this isn't really a clone, I just like the set. It's an ATDP with, it's a, I think it's actually a Stormtrooper, but I still like it, so I, I put it in there as well. So, this is my LEGO Star Wars collection of the Clone Wars era. I got Jedis, clones, droids, and advanced droids. So, uh, you'll be expecting some stop motions with these, but... It's gonna take some practice because I haven't done stop motion in a while, but that's what you can expect from me in the future. Okay, so these are my big structures or the vehicles that I have. Uh, this one, one of the ones in the first prequel movie where they, where they it was during the Gungan battle, but I, I, I really like it, it's kinda cool. And this one is the droid carrier. It actually came with like 14 droids and that was the majority of the, B1, the B1s I had. This is a Republic fighter tank. I actually did an unboxing and build of this, so I put the link in the description. This one, I also got the same year as I got this one. So, it's one of the Geonosian ones. And I planned to make a stop motion on this like last year, but I never did. This set actually isn't mine, it's my brother's. But this set had the commander, I had green in it. The green guy here. So he came with this set, and it's supposed to be the, um, that's the Gian Ocean people, and that's a Gian Ocean cannon. Alright, so those are all my Lego Clone Wars structures, uh, and you can, you can expect some more videos on those too, and also because they're easier to animate because they're not actual minifigures, but besides that point, yeah. Alright, so in my 2019 announcement video, that's when I first made the announcement I was going to start doing daily videos on YouTube. I actually mentioned the LEGO Police Station, and one of the things I mentioned is I had big plans for it. I was going to make like a bunch of stop motions on it, but every time I would, something would go wrong. Like, the set would break, or something would happen, like a really big test or something, and I'd have to put it off. Actually, when I was putting it on the desk to make the video, it actually broke apart. Like, just now, it broke apart, and I'm actually kind of angry, but I'll fix it eventually. And, you know, last time I said that, it got up on the desk, and that's why it's broken in the first place, but, you know, 
Now, I'm actually going to try to see if I can fix it soon so I can make a stop motion about it. I've had big plans for this for a long time, and it was, I just never got around to actually doing them. Alright, the last thing I'm planning to make stop motions off is what I started out my channel doing, Lego Minecraft. So, this is another dismantled set, because my siblings didn't take care of it. And, it's in my room now. Well, part of it is, this is the, the nether set, well, the first one that came out. But it's broken now, but I managed to scavenge some of it from the giant Lego box. So those are the, some of the topics you can expect from me. Uh, there's there's Lego Minecraft, Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars, the Police Station, the Adventure Sets. And I'm actually going to start doing stop motions with Transformers as well. So let me just get Bumblebee in the frame here. I've had this Bumblebee for... Bumblebee? I said that weird. I've had this Bumblebee for a long time. Uh, it's the movie Bumblebee, and I, I, I really like seeing stop motions where like the Transformer toys are getting, like formed into a car and then unformed, and I, I just think it looks kind of cool. And I've wanted to experiment it with with it last year, but once again, I never did. But I have like six Transformers on on one of my on one of my desks. On one of my desks, I have a corner with Transformers. There's like five of them. So I'm going to try to do stop motions with Transformers as well. And the most recent stop motion that I tried doing, to just to test, like if I was good, still good at stop motion, was my Voltron Do Not Resist. That link's also in the description as well. I, I'm really proud of that one. You should go check it out. But anyway, those are the kind of videos you can expect from me in the future. So, if you enjoyed this video... Oh, wait. Rewind a little bit. Didn't I mention the giant Lego box? When I was explaining this, I mentioned the giant Lego box. Now, here's a little backstory. When we were, when, by me, we, I mean my siblings and I, when we were young little lads, we played with Legos every day. And we also left them on the floor every day. So my parents came up with the box. So anytime we played with Legos, we just put it all in one giant box at the end of the day. Sometimes we'd set it on shelves if we made something, but in the end, everything went in the box. And once it goes in the box, it never comes back out. I would like to have made stop motions, but everything got shoved into the box over the course of like over five years. So we have like five years worth of just crap tons of Legos stuffed into it. And over the weekend, we started to organize it. So, here's some of the clips of when we're organizing it, and what we are organizing as well. Alright, so after 5 or 6 years of build-up, you get a lot of Legos coming out of the box. Oh, this blanket? This isn't even it. Yeah, I mean a lot of build-up. Yeah, go even further. Yeah, there we go. I mean a lot of build-up of Legos. So, we finally decided to organize all this and set it in different trays so it's easier to be transported into my room for stop motions. So, like, this is an overview shot of all the Legos that we dumped out and tried to organize. Uh, here's some of the stuff that, are, that we're still trying to organize. And off to the right, here's stuff that we semi-organized and, like, things that are still intact. So, one of the trays, we have stuff for policemen. Another tray, we have medieval knights. Uh, this is stuff for the Lego movie, which I'm planning to make a stop motion about soon. Here's some other stuff like bodies or like stuff that might be helpful. Here's some more bodies and more heads and stuff. <laughs> here's like a spaceship and some intact items that might be useful in the future. And here's some uh, there's like base plates and stuff that we could use as well. So this is us organizing. I mean, there's like a lot of stuff to organize here. So right now we're trying to find pieces in order to make like a Lego movie style motion, which I'm going to be making soon. So keep on the lookout for that. All right. So in this video, I covered my adventure collection. I covered the Lego Clone Wars, the people and the giant vehicles. I also covered the Lego police station that I'm planning to use soon and the uh, Lego Minecraft Transformers and the big giant Lego box that we're organizing. So keep on the lookout for any stop motions, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!